We good? Yeah. All right. In our previous video, we put together a uh, real quick 12 volt system for emergency power. Uh, we showed this Ames inverter. You got, it has really good ratings. We were pulling a, about a 1300 watt load, if I remember correctly, and the fan on this thing didn't even come on. Uh, showed it charging the USB ports. So what I want to do now is shift into a little bit of showing some charge controllers and some things we do. I don't, it's raining outside. I don't have anything running in here. So we're going to use this power supply. It's only a little three amp power supply at 60 volts. So that would be like, you know, kind of if you had 350 watt solar panels, they put out usually two to three amps. And then you put that in series, right? So that'd be about 60 volts in, 18 to 20 VOC on those panels and two to three amps. So this would be kind of equivalent to if we were putting in, uh, you know, 350 watt panels in series, 60 volts, three amps. So we know, you know, I, you guys know that I like my midnight classic and you know, I like my Outback FM 80. You know, different applications, we like that. We got the uh, midnight kit on the table. And just, you know, like stuff for the beginner, I'm going to, you know, these tracer controllers here, you know, we have these in stock. You know, they we pulled the covers off of them to put stuff in. This is the 20, 30, 40 amp tracer. We've got this one hooked up, and I'm emulating... You know, I know I'm not going to put that much current in this. You need to size this wire. This is just a little jumper wire, and it's probably going to impede the output. So we're just going to demonstrate a little MPPT charging on the batteries. Um, this tracer, as far as the price point goes, a lot of you guys are asking, you know, we're, we're doing the bare bones. You know, we do the big top end systems. So we wanted to cover a little bit of the lower budget stuff for people trying to put together an emergency system. You know, this would be kind of your budget stuff. But uh, the tracer stuff, you know, some of these Chinese MPPT controllers that you see come in really aren't even MPPT controllers. A lot of them, you know, do more like pulse width modulation. You see a lot of controllers that have this guy on it. Uh, you know, I'm not throwing any daggers at people that do that, but, you know, with our stuff, we don't recommend it. And I mean, even on our wind turbines, if you put that on it, we're not going to warranty it. These things tend to stick open or closed. When you have a substantial investment on these batteries, we want to keep them, we want to keep them good. So, you know, um, I have, I want to show you guys something I did. We'll see if it heats up and this may this is a mistake. We've, I've just run some jumper wires, real fine gauge wire. When you size this thing, this is a 40 amp controller. So you need to figure out what your run to the battery bank is. I would size the wire and probably go over on this lug, you know, over here if I was doing this system. But again, we're just going to demonstrate uh, this thing, pop it on. I don't think it'll really be a good test of what it can do because when you put these fine wires in here like this, you're going to impede. This is this is a block in your system. Um, I did this just to emphasize a point. Don't do it. Okay, that's probably you know put a put a six gauge wire. You know, figure out what's going on. 80 amps divided by 12. Run it through the voltage drop calculator. If you don't know, send me an email and I'll do it for you. But I'm going to pop this guy on and see what happens here. So, and it's coming up. We got, it's being drugged down by the controller. But, you know, you see the voltage in. It comes on through and it cycles. We got 11 amps. And this thing, this controller, if you watch, it's actually six times, 60 times three is 180. If you caught what that thing was doing, it was actually pushing 160 watts. So we're getting a really good MPPT conversion on our solar. 
Let me fill this wire. It's still, it's 145, 143. This thing is starting to heat up a little bit. I can feel that, you know. So if we watch that, we continue to watch it, I, I imagine the voltage is going to go down. I imagine the current in 142, 141. This is going to heat up. Um, again, not a good idea, but we just wanted to show you the MPPT charge. And when you, you know, we, when you get your panels, you're either going to, you know, when you're doing a 12 volt system, if you use one like this TriStar here, is a pulse width modulation controller. You can't run the high voltage into a PWM and have it convert to a higher current rate in charge. You know, not, it's not going to happen. This thing getting a little bit warm, you know, absolutely something you don't want to do. But, you know, this tracer, uh, we're going to be selling this. We've got stock of it. If something happens, you're not going to have to get on the phone and call the Chinese people. We got 60 volts in. You see 60.2. It seems to be a really efficient controller, especially considering the restriction that we have going on here with this, this fine wire. So we've got that one. Uh, the Midnight Kid, you know, made in, the, made in the USA. This is a nice controller. Um, I'm going to change over and we're going to, th this is just going to emulate some MPPT solar charging into the system. Uh, we'll do that in a moment, but we get back here and the battery, you know, we're showing, we're back up, back up. You know, we just pulled that heavy draw and we're showing the system. It actually is pulling and it's showing we're back up to a hundred percent on the batteries. So... You know, I'm pretty, I've been pretty impressed with the testing we've done on these new tracers. We're going to throw the kit on here and see what happens in a moment. This wire is getting real hot. So <laughs> remember, six gauge wire, at least, you know, can remember to take your voltage runs and put them in the voltage drop calculator so you don't overheat things. That's how you, that's how you cause fires. I'm going to shut this thing down a minute. All right, so real quick, one of the things I just missed that hit me when we were doing that, other than being impeded by the heat, that um, controller had charged up to like almost 100% of the battery. When you see that with an MPPT charge controller, that starts to fade out, and that's that's part of why that power was, uh, you know, showing that it was converting less, but. That tracer controller, I am very impressed with. I've got the kit on the bench. If I hook that thing up with a full state of charge, you know, we're not going to do it any justice because just like the other one, it's not going to, uh, you know, the battery when you're off grid, if it doesn't need any charging, these sophisticated charge controllers are going to recognize that. And of course, we're not going to have any power. So I'm going to take this and run this battery bank down a little bit. So we can see what the kid does with the same power supply. And uh, I just wanted to throw that in there. You know, look, when you get to a full state of charge, and then you're going to see that you don't have quite as much power coming in. So one of the, one of the downsides of being off-grid, once your battery bank's full, you can have solar panels out in full sun, and there's nowhere to put the power if you don't have a load running in uh that's the end of the game. You can have wind and solar and hydro going in, and that's it. If you have it hooked up to the electric company and it goes backwards, then, you know, that's great. You're using power all the time. But um, just wanted to throw that note in. You don't need to see me run this, but we're going to run this down a little bit and test that kid, and we'll be back with you in a minute.